Welcome back. I'm Matt Weston. This is Empire Gym and this is Matt Weston Fitness. In this video, I'll show you four disciplines that comprise a circuit using just these bags. Those disciplines are a front jump squat, a lateral bag drag, a split jump and an overhead lunge. I'll take you through the technique of the four component parts of the circuit, then show you the circuit put together at the end as I do it. 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, a true small hit circuit for you to do in the gym. Hope you enjoy it. Click like if you do and please subscribe. Thanks very much. demonstrate discipline number one the front jump squat it is as it sounds we're going to hold the weight at the front we're going to squat and jump it's important to pick the correct weight if you go too heavy and you're out in front with weight you're going to hurt your back so I've chosen the 15 kilo bag from the middle of the rack I know that's right for me you need to test and try safely to see which weight suits you best Remember, I want you to work and keep working for 30 seconds. So I would rather you pick a weight that means your form is good and you can continue to work for 30 seconds before you have a break. So very simply, we pick up the bag and we cradle the bag at the front. It just needs to be secure. You can hold the handles or bring your hands over there. I like to hold the handles. Let's pick it back up. Whoa. Okay, so feet just past shoulder width. Look into the distance, keep your chin high. And if you want to make sure that you go deep enough into the squat, look to have your elbows touch your knees. So we're down, elbows touch knees, come back up. That will almost guarantee that you're at 90 degrees on your squat. But then of course, we're adding a jump. So we've got the squat right, but it's with a jump. So, and let's be realistic. When you're adding a jump to this, you're not gonna touch your knees with your elbows every time. But now you know what it feels to go to that lower point of the jump. So we're down, just leave the floor, just leave the floor, just leave the floor, just leave the floor. You need to be quite delicate with this. Just leave the floor because this is gonna bounce around in your arms. And you don't want it to hit you in the chin. Okay, so down to the bottom, soft in the movement, nice and soft, land soft. Use your quads, hamstrings and glutes to cushion your landing when you come back down. Okay, and you can hear it gets your heart rate up. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Okay, discipline number two, something slightly different, a lateral bag drag. We've done a big leg movement to start the session, which is great. Now we focus on your core and some other bits as we'll see. So the first component part of this, just move the bag to one side. Note, I've picked the 15 kilo bag again. Make sure before you do the circuit throughout, you practice and get your weights right. So you're not picking and choosing and practicing weights during your session. You want the intensity to be high. So practice first, get them right, then put them into a circuit format and carry on. So, as I was saying, the first component part is press up position locked out. So the back of your head to your heels, body in a straight line. Your hands are gonna to want to be up around your chin or shoulders because we need a channel down here to work in. Now, in this channel goes your bag. Start it out to one side. And you'll see the further out to one side it goes, the harder the action. So the plan is, we are there in a brace position and you're pulling the bag across. There, swap hands, pull the bag across. And the further you can get that bag, the more rotation you'll get through your middle, the more work your core and obliques will do. And you'll also find that your shoulders are heavily 
involved. And we'll do that discipline for 30 seconds. Okay, let's see discipline number three. Okay, discipline number three of four is a split jump with one of these bags. You'll notice the 15 kilo bag is back in the rack. This is a 10 kilo bag. You'll see why. A split jump is tough without weight. With weight, it's very tough. So be sensible. If you need to drop down to five kilos, do so. And having said that, once you're in your circuit, if any bag is too heavy, rather than give up, do it without the bag. Okay, but I'm gonna demonstrate with a 10 kilo bag. So what is a split jump? Essentially, if we look at lunge form there, so step forward into a lunge, you lead with one leg, your back leg sees your knee approach the floor. So we're there. In order to make that happen, we have to step forward. With a split jump, essentially, we're going from one lunge one side to one lunge another side. Without the step back, we're jumping. And while we're in the air, our feet change. Okay, as a guide, you may find at the start, your back knee will touch the floor. That's not a problem if it just kind of kisses the floor. Don't rest on that back knee. It's almost inevitable that it will touch the floor every now and again. And that's great because it means you're deep down into the movement with proper form, which is wonderful. So a split jump without a bag is there. And you have to be very deliberate about it. And you can see you fight for your balance which will be even tougher having just done a core exercise before there's method in the way I put these things together. So now the bag in our arms again. Now you can't see your feet now because of the bag. So practice your form first so you don't trip up. Okay, I find start in this position and we come up and swap, okay? There, don't go off like a train. 30 seconds of that is really hard work. Get your form right, work hard, stay consistent throughout the 30 seconds. So there's discipline number three, a tough one. So let's demonstrate discipline four of four in the context of what we've done before this as well. So number one, we did a front jump squat with the bag in front, leaving the floor. Then we did a lateral bag drag. So we've gone from really getting the blood into your legs, heart rate up high, to transferring the work to fatigue your core, so your abs, your obliques, your core, your shoulders. Then we went back to legs, big muscle group, so we went back to legs for a split jump with the bag, heart rate through the roof again. And now we're going to take the work in the final discipline of four to using your legs and your core together in a real test. So this is an overhead lunge. Okay, the clue's in the title. So we're gonna hold the bag overhead while doing a lunge. So we've done the toughest kind of lunge movement in a split jump, but you'll be fatigued, your heart rate will be up, you'll be tired at this point. This is a test, but let's enjoy it. So a lunge, essentially to force form on a lunge, stride as far as you can, then come back. So stride as far as you can, then come back. And you'll notice when you lunge, you wanna put your hands somewhere and try and balance as your body moves and adjusts and twitches to make sure you don't fall over. So a lunge is tough, tough enough on its own, but what we're gonna do is add weight. Not only that, we're gonna add weight overhead. So we're gonna hold the end handles of the bag, okay? straight overhead, arms stay locked out, and now take that stride, that lunge there and back. So take that stride, lunge there and back. So try not, as I just did, to lean on your back knee, but it can touch, but to come back, power off your front knee. Okay, and that's an overhead lunge. You'll find your body's really fighting hard because you're sending blood to your arms and your shoulders to keep that above your head while sending the blood to the work that your legs are doing.
beneath you. Really tough way to finish. Pick a weight that's appropriate so that you can do the work for the full 30 seconds and enjoy it. Grind it out, enjoy it. So we've demonstrated each four, each of the four disciplines. Now let's go and put it into a circuit format. We're gonna go 30 seconds work and 20 seconds rest, okay? Which gives us time to set up, think and go without having too much rest. And we're gonna use the timer on the wall here. So as we go into the circuit here at the gym, we're gonna use the timer on the wall to work for 30 seconds, rest for 20 seconds. You can use an interval app on your phone or a stopwatch. So the demonstrating is done, it's time for the doing. Four disciplines, 30 seconds work on each discipline, 20 seconds rest between each of the four. We've practiced them, now let's get them into a circuit format. You'll notice the orientation of the video has changed so I can see the timer directly in front of me so not to be turning my neck during the exercise, keeping a neutral spine, which is important. So let's get into it. We're going front jump squat, then lateral bag drag, then split jump, then overhead lunges. It's tough, it's hard work. I've practiced it once through already. So here we go. 30 seconds work, front jump squats. So I've got the 15 kilo bag. I know from my practice, this is what's best to use. Elbows towards your knees, soft landing. Just leave the floor. That's 15 seconds. Keep moving. That's all I want. Don't stop for the 30 seconds. Good. Well, first discipline done. 20 seconds rest. Lateral back drag next. Nine seconds till we go again. Let's go. So put it as far through as you can. So to get maximum rotation there. Use your obliques. Hold your core tight. Five seconds. Good. That's two of four. I know now. I changed my 15 kilo bag to the 10. Split jumps, let's go. Ten seconds. Well, twenty seconds rest. Overhead lunges to finish. Let's go. Let's do the work. Fifteen left. Don't stop. Well done. That's once through that circuit. And it works. I want you to take two to three minutes rest, then do it another time. 
Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the page. And I'll see you next time.